This is Ben Davidson. Subscribe to Spin Icon. All right, everyone. Hope you're all doing fantastic. Now, Otto Wallin, he wants a rematch with Tyson Fury. If not, a fight with Anthony Joshua. Now, this is, of course, according to his promotional team, uh, Salita Promotions, who, incidentally, have uh, signed up a fellow Northeast lad of mine in Thomas Patrick Ward. So big up to them, guys. And uh, he will be out this Friday at the MTK show at the Eagles Arena here in Newcastle. Now, that aside, we have Dimitri Salita. Now, he said this about Otto Wallin wanting these two fights. Otto will be much better in the rematch. He's going to get busy, and now he is comfortable with Fury's style. I strongly believe Otto wins the rematch. I think it could have been a draw. At most, 7-5 to Tyson. Fury's a great fighter who has tons of heart. He was very skilled and courageous in how he dealt with such adversity. But had it been anyone else, I feel the fight would have been stopped. Otto is a true champion inside and outside the ring. He's from Sweden and fought Fury in Vegas, so destination is no issue. We were discussing him stepping in to fight Joshua in June. We will be open to that possibility sometime down the line in the UK. So that is Dimitri Salita's words. Now, would Otto Wallin be a viable opponent for Anthony Joshua? I mean, if he was to beat Andy Ruiz Jr., you'd have to say no, right? Um... Is he a viable opponent to have a rematch with Tyson Fury? Again, we'd probably have to say no, just based on the fact, well, I say fact, it's more opinion, that Tyson Fury made Otto Wallen look good because of the cut that happened in round number three. But again, it was a legitimate punch that caused a cut. It wasn't a clash of heads or anything like that. So again, big up to Otto Wallen. He came to fight, he came to put it on, and he did show a hell of a lot of heart in himself. But a fight with Tyson Fury in a rematch, is that something that people want to see? Probably not. Now, Otto Wallen's stock has risen quite considerably, that is for sure. But as I said, in my opinion, it's all down to the fact of that cut. If that cut hadn't have happened, then I think that Tyson Fury would have won that fight even more convincingly than what he'd done and potentially stop Otto Wallen. Again, we haven't seen Otto Wallen stop before, so I can't really say that in all truth. But potentially, at least, Tyson Fury would have put on a much better performance. And I think a lot of people can agree with that one. Um, but ultimately, Otto Wallen, his stock has risen. And of course, people would like to see him in there with some of the higher end fighters. Maybe a Chisora versus Parker winner. That would be an interesting fight, I think. Or maybe go fight Alexander Povetkin. Okay, that would be an interesting one. Huey Fury, why not that one? So there's quite a few options out there. I think that um, not only will Eddie Hearn and Frank Warren want to take him on, and have a look at him again, but maybe Bob Aaron will again, and a few others. So don't be too surprised if you see Otto Wallin on one of their shows in the not-too-distant future. Who knows? But ultimately, Otto Wallin, yes, he did do very well, but I do think that outside of that cut, I wouldn't give him too much of a chance other than a puncher's chance. Because even though Tyson Fury fought nine rounds with virtually one eye, Otto Wallin couldn't get him out of there. Don't get me wrong, he really, really hurt him in round number 12, and potentially could have got rid of him, but ultimately... He didn't. So a Tyson Fury with no cuts, with 20-20 vision, I just don't see it. I honestly don't see it happening any other way than a one-sided Tyson Fury victory. But again, would people want to see this rematch? I really don't know. Now, as far as uh, Dimitri saying that he thought that the fight was a draw or a 7-5 in Tyson's favour, no, no, no. Tyson won that fight handedly, even with that cut. Okay, he, he legitimately did. Um, but yes, okay, he's willing to travel, which is fantastic. And I think it's important that fighters should travel. And of course, because he's from Sweden, I don't quite know much how the boxing climate is in Sweden. But hopefully now, after Otto Wallen's performance, he's going to have a lot more fans, especially in Sweden, and could potentially put on fights there. So why not? But now, as far as what he talks about how, had it been any other opponent outside of Tyson Fury, the fight would have been stopped. Again, he's probably got a very good shout in that one. Because that was a very, very bad cut. And in most circumstances, the fight would have been stopped. And had the fight been stopped, Otto Wallen would have been awarded the victory. Bob Arum, Frank Warren, ESPN, Top Rank, BT Sport, were not going to allow this one. To beat Tyson Fury, you're going to have to nail him to the canvas. Okay. No amount of cuts, no amount of abrasions, no amount of getting knocked down is going to help you, okay? But, listen, it is a, um, what it is. This isn't the only 
platform that that, that wouldn't have happened on. I mean, had um, um, Otto Wallen fought Deontay Wilder on a PBC show and Wilder got cut. Same thing, they wouldn't have pulled the fight. Had it happened with Anthony Joshua on a Sky Sports or DAZN one, they wouldn't stop the fight. So we can't point fingers and say this is what they should have done and it was wrong because ultimately Tyson Fury did go on to win the fight. Now, had he got blood in his eye properly and ended up going blind, then of course that's when we're talking different problems. But fact is that isn't what happened. Fact is he did go the distance and fact is he did get the win. So again, should the fight have been stopped? Potentially, sure, I can see that argument, no doubt, no doubt. Anyway, Otto Wallen, he wants a Tyson Fury rematch or Anthony Joshua. Drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, subscribe, catch you all on the next video.